Hi, I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for making my channel so special. I like your comments and extremely appreciate your questions. We'll try to solve this example. Write domain range of f of x equals to 3 times square root of 4 minus x square plus 1. Now, what does this equation or the function represent? Okay, let us see that first. Let me define another function here first. g of x equal to only the inside part, square root of 4 minus x square. Right? So I'll work with this and then we get to f of x. I'm using transformation here, another strategy to answer your question. So I'm writing f of x is basically equal to 3 times g of x plus 1. Is it okay? So basically I'm saying this function has been vertically stretched by a factor of 3 and moved 1 unit up. Okay. So, so I'll do it in two parts. First, I will show you what g of x is and then get to f of x. I hope that makes sense, right? Okay. So what is g of x? On a coordinate plane, let's try to sketch it. Square root means always positive, right? Now, if I write x equals to 4, then what do I get? Well, let's make a table. It helps. It helps. So, x and g of x. So, if I take a value of x as 0, let us say, in that case, I get 2. Right? So, so at 0, I get a value 2. Let's say this is this is 2 for us. Okay. Now, if I take a value 4, okay, so let's take a value 4. In that case, what happens? Now, 4 square is 16, so I get undefined. So that means that this is not defined when it is 4. However, if I take a value 2, then I get 2 square and g of x is 0. So that is the limit, right? So we could not go beyond 2. So, okay. So at 2, we have 0. Similarly, at minus 2, we get a value, which is again 0. And we connect these points with different values, right? So you could take plus minus 1, getting another value, for example. So what you get here is kind of like this. Okay. So we have these points. So if I write, uh, let's say, some other value in between, you can get other points. However, with minus 2, 0, 2, and 4, we know it is outside. So at minus 2, it is 0, plus 2, it is 0. What we get here is a semicircle. Correct? So that's what I mean. So basically, we are trying to find domain and range of a semicircle, correct? Now, in this case, radius is two units, two units. Now, what is the domain here? And what is the range? Let me write down. So domain of this function is x belongs to real numbers where x is between plus and minus two, right? So we say x is greater than or equal to minus 2, however, less than or equal to 2. And as far as the range is concerned, we say y belongs to real numbers so that y is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 2. Is that clear? So that becomes domain and range for your function g of x. Now here, what have we done? We have moved g of x one unit up multiplied by 3, right? So basically, at this stage, what has happened? Let me sketch it here again. But I'll use different scale since 2 times 3 is 6 and we really can't go that much, right? So what will really happen is if we have original graph as, let's say, let me draw a smaller version of this. Kind of like this. In that case, what really happens is when you stretch it vertically by 3, so this point, which was at 2, 
goes to 6, right? So, so this is 4 and this is 6. And then it moves further 1. So it goes to 7. Perfect. However, so it kind of gets stretched. Do you see that? It doesn't move horizontally. So the graph here is kind of like this. I mean, I mean, I should have connected these points. Okay. So, so this, this semicircle gets kind of extended like this. Do you see this portion? Uh, so I've done a mistake. Let me, um, we have to move this point up by one unit. Is it okay? So, so finally what you get here is, is this unit, which is at, at one. So, so f of x is the one which I've shown in black from here, correct, to seven. So from one to seven. And these points are at minus two plus two. So what do you really find that domain of the function remains same, which is including, I'm using different nomenclature, minus two to plus two. And the range of this particular function is now between one to seven. Correct? You could get this domain and range from g of x also. See, for g of x, the domain is from minus 2 to plus 2. It remains same, which is which is same as g of x. But as far as the range is concerned, it is transformed. Do you see that? Times 3 plus 1. So earlier, for g of x, the range was from 0 to 2. But for f of x, what really happened was, we multiplied these things by 3 added 1. We multiplied these things by 3 added 1. So for g of x, for g of x, okay, we have space, so we'll write here. So for g of x, it became 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7, and 0 times x is 0 plus 1. I mean, 0 times 3 plus 1, right? Uh, so I should write times 3 plus 1. Yeah, it was times 3 plus 1, right? So 0 times 3 is 0 plus 1. So it is from 1 to 7. Do you see that? So the range increases. It's like a transformation. So I hope now the concept is clear. So the whole idea of uh, showing you this way is so that you could connect between domain range, you could connect between the equation and semicircle. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.